Wag one welcome back to my channel is Jamaica a safe place to live Jamaica is relatively a safe place to live just like England Canada and the US so if you're planning to return to Jamaica to live here are some tips the first thing that you should do is to drop the accent at the airport whatever country you're coming from you need to drop the accent if you're a Jamaican you can talk with the Jamaican accent the Jamaican accent doesn't mean the Patwa because other Caribbean islands speak Patwa as well the Jamaican accent is the unique tone that tells us apart for example if I'm conversating with a Trinidadian a Barbadian you can tell that I am a Jamaican just by the unique tone you can tell a Trinidadian by their unique tone and a Barbadian by the unique tone so that is the unique tone I'm talking about you need to pick that up at the airport and drop the foreign accent right because you will be targeted in terms of for example an apple is selling for $100 and you might be paying $400 for it with accent so that is not right but that's just the reality so you want to drop the the foreign accent another thing is you want to ensure that you do your research before you decided to make that big leap of returning to Jamaica to live you don't want to go back to the community that you are from that is a big no 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 don't do that don't return to the community that you are from you want to start afresh you want to go into a new area where nobody knows you nobody don't know anything about you you want to start from there all right so you're not gonna you know live just anywhere either you should live either in a working class community or an upper class community those communities are deemed safer than other areas i live in a working class community so you will not find any idlers on the street digging out there and middle or anything like that it is relatively safe and a lot of returning residents are living in my area and they are quite fine bear in mind that you know you have to have a little bit of money when you decided to return to Jamaica because those areas the land is pretty much expensive and the houses are pretty much expensive because the area is deemed safe okay so you want to ensure that when you live like in a working class community like in my area and you call the police they will you know come more quickly than if you live in a certain area it is not right because I believe that all citizens should be treated equally but is it is not so and that is the sad reality however you want to make sure that you live in a community that anything happens god forbid and you call the police they will be there in no time yes so those are some tips and you want to ensure that when if you should take private not private if you should take public transportation especially a taxi you want to ensure that you greet people in the taxi good morning good afternoon good evening good night whatever time of the day it is and then you just keep your mouth closed do not start a conversation of nothing and if people in the taxi are having a conversation do not go into that conversation you just sit there and you listen with your mouth closed do not say anything because you never might know 
who those person in the taxi are persons in the taxi are related to uh, it can be Jamaica's most wanted you might never know so just keep your mouth shut to be on the safe side yes and when you go into supermarkets you know Jamaican economy is stagnant it's not going anywhere things are pretty much expensive out here so when you go into the supermarket you will be comparing prices loudly and a lot of what this is what i saw a lot of returning residents is in the supermarket so you don't want to stand in the supermarket and compare prices to the u.s loudly oh my god in the states it's much cheaper i've been living in the states for over 27 years and things are so expensive in jamaica nobody cares you don't have to do that you are drawing attention to yourself you don't want to do that there are cameras in the supermarket and there is a security guard at the supermarket entrance and out in the supermarket car park as well and there are employees who walk from different sections in the supermarket you know looking around and so forth but still you don't want to draw attention to yourself there are thieves in the supermarket pretending to be shopping and you don't want to be their next victim okay so just shop in silence if you can't afford the things or if you think it is it is too expensive you don't have to be saying it out loudly and telling people that you've been living in the states and you're talking in this deep accent you don't want to do that and that is another thing living in the middle class or I should say working class community as well nobody cares if you're coming from far and nobody cares how long you have been living overseas nobody cares nobody not frank the foreigner the foreigner over there everybody a visa everybody no foreign and so you will not be targeted because nobody cares really yes so that is why if you can't afford a middle class uh, upper class community to live um, uh, working class community is best because nobody cares really in some areas people might care and you will be targeted so that's why I said you will have to save money save your money and you have to buy a plot of land or a house either in the upper class community or the working class community yeah, so those are some things that you should um, consider. Otherwise, from that, as long as you're not into mix-up, your family members are not into mix-up. And another, another thing is, you have to be careful of your own family members. You have to be careful of, of your own friends. Because most of the time, they are the ones that are killing you, not strangers. So I'm telling you, it all depends on you and how you adjust, adjust yourself and just be a very private person. You don't have to paste everything on, on the internet. You don't have to tell people your business. Just go about and be a private person and ask God for grace and mercies, just like anywhere else in the world just like in the United States okay yeah man so that's it stay blessed wow